Hi everybody, this is Rita with Bloom Stitch and uh, happy Memorial Day to you. As I mentioned in my video, uh, my last video, uh, I'm just gonna come back with a new journal. And let me introduce you to Tess. This is Tess and really fluffy, really fluffy here. So, um, my journals are usually, let me see, well, it's hard to tell with the fluffiness added in, but like six, seven by, oh, it can go up to with the fluffiness 10 or something like that inches. So it just depends. Um, depends on what you're counting actually as for the length. But anyways, let's just dwell into it. This is the cover. A lot of lace and vintage fabrics and it's on a vintage file folder that I tore by hand I'm not gonna take everything out of the pockets but um, lots of uh, goodies in here lots of collaging this is one of my page top flip tops that I did a, <laughs> a little tutorial on that it comes off and just like that you can write on the back of it and it's just a nice little page decoration so yeah this is a flip right here pocket big tag and a little kitty it's a mini playing card uh, lots of lots of fluffiness going on and lots of uh, hanging down of the lace and fabric at the bottom this one i use modeling paste has a 3D effect uh, with a stencil and tags and tickets. This is a flip. This is a hidden writing spot. Napkin decoupage. This is just a decoration on the top, which is actually this flip is sewn in here. And then on the other side, that's what's right here. Little flip here lace and fabric pocket with a lace skirt upper or tuck spot on the right side here and this is a, a a vintage quilt made it into a belly band sorted in here with goodies oh this is so cute it's a vintage card look at that kitten so cute you can actually use this it's not written on so yeah, tag, and then this is just a coin envelope, a big one. Sorry, silk flip. This is from a Singer manual, little vintage sewing machine manual that I just tugged up here. And on the other side, it's an altered paper clip, and it's a reproduction of a uh, library card. Little pockets pocket going on with tickets little scrappy notepad oh this is my gnome gnome stamp this is just a little fluffiness here more fluffiness with a little tea cups and such a cute little hiding spot right writing spot in here and i like this little collage with this pretty butterfly on here yeah and it's a really wide um fluffy ruffle that I put there. Another little pocket with a lace skirt and the tags. Collaging. These are actual stamps. Uh, some are Romanian. Um, I bought them at an antique shop. I bought a package of them. This is my bird, big bird stamp. Guest check. Music paper that's been, most of the paper uh, pages have been uh, Coffee dyed and it just feels so nice and squishy. This this journal, nice and squishy. It's an inspiration journal too. Lots of things going on in here. Collaged here and big pocket. This is one of my uh, papers that I painted on and sprayed and just kind of messed around with and um, decoupage napkin. A little bit of a tea bag that I stemmed on. Double book pocket with goodies in here. Tags, little collage tea cup. More of the stamps. 
and an envelope that's been uh, coffee dyed and uh, stemmed on and made into a pocket here or a clip. It's a little mini um, pocket made out of a coffee filter. And then we have more fluffy fabric here. Oh, and on this side too. Did I glue this together? What did I do here? No, this is this is one page here. So there's fabric on both sides. Okay, got it. And then this is just an altered envelope that I put at the back. There's nothing in it. You for you to fill it up. But I just decoupaged and inked it up. Oh, and then there's a little envelope here with goodies in there. So this is Tess, and uh, this should be listed. And you guys have a good rest of your Memorial Day weekend. And I will be back later on in the week um, with some more goodies. So peace out.